Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Savannah Christina. I'm a singer, songwriter, spoken word poet. I'm from Miami, Florida, and you're watching Open Canvas. Usually, it'll start with like a line in my head. Um, like for just like, don't you go run a game on me, cause baby, I ain't a dummy. Like, I feel like I thought about that one time. Like somebody did something and it made me look at them and be like, I ain't no dummy. And then after that, then I just kept building around it. So it's usually something happens to me, I'd be like, this is what I wanna say, how do I expand? And then that's kinda how it goes. With rhymes and all that stuff, on its own. Like, but really my like focus is just the message I'm trying to get across. Dear white people, point blank per it. I wouldn't mind being in Orange is the New Black, only cause like, I feel like being in prison is very, it maybe like summer camp, in a sense. They make it <laughs> for women. <laughs> Dear white people. <laughs> Yes, yes, they have. And avocados. And avocados, because I do like avocados as well. But yeah, people did, um, they still do. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's coming up, um, the next EP. But yeah, people still do. They still, or they'll send me pictures of mangoes, or like, which is, it, I mean, it's, it's kind of like annoying, because I don't have a mango tree. But yeah, people will bring, they'll think of me, like if their trees in bloom, they'll bring me some. So, I hope that goes on for the rest of my life. I just be crying. <laughs> so I grew up in Broward, um, born in Miami, grew up in Broward. I was raised pretty much by my Boys and Girls Club and every day they would play music. So we listen to like the the usual, um, you know, the usual like over and over and over, on and on and on, and like Yamaha and Fast Car and like all these songs that everybody would just get right to. but. That was like when I was eight, and like I'm 21 now, and I would still hear those same songs. I was like, damn, like why not add something new to the repertoire? Like these songs are fire, but let's you know have some for the current state that can keep on going like for the rest of of my kids, you know, childhood. So that's what inspired me to do it. I feel like those songs are legendary; they're everlasting. Like grind mode, I'm so high. That song is always gonna be a bop. And like, I wanted to make a song that was gonna be in that same like playlist. So that's what inspired Florida Boy. Not only that, but it's like, Florida Boys are lit. Like our culture is lit and like to shine a positive light on it is something that's not always done. So, you know, first to do it, Florida Boy. It would be about love. It would be like a song about love. I feel like she has those songs that just like, they're just very like loving. Like she just has a very loving heart. So it'd be like a, a romance type song, which is not something I kind of always do. It's funny because I was listening to my like track list of songs and I realized like I don't really have love songs. Like infatuated, like writing you a four page letter, like I miss you, like come over type songs. So I think that she would probably bring that out of me. Yeah, or or like <laughs> No, yeah, that, and then like, just like, okay, we're at a party, like, let's have fun, like, oh, let's take a step by step, like, let's, that, you know what I mean, like, it's either I'm not fucking with you, or if I am, like, we're just, you know what I mean, it's just fun. Um, Afro is just like a song that means me embracing um, myself and loving myself. It's a love song directed at like, it's like the narrative is me talking to a guy, but really the idea of it is just celebrating me in my natural state. So that's what Afro means. It's just a celebration, really. My favorite song is Mama Knows. That's my favorite song. Um, I like it because it's really fun and it has a lot of harmonies. Like, I just did whatever I wanted in Mama Knows. That's on Mango Season IEP. And I just like, I just got creative with it, and so I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. You see that plug? I said the plug. What? I was talking about your season. Um, yeah, shit. Yeah. Cause I gotta talk like y'all. Y'all might not know about mango season, so I'm gonna let you know. Well, you know.
for the listeners. Actually, this color I'm using right now, it's like an iridescent shade of fuchsia and yellow and pink. That's what I see. Like, I feel like my sound is like a blend of colors because like the harmonies and stuff like that. Do you have synesthesia? That's when you like see colors. Yeah. With the music. Hear colors. No. Seeing sounds. No. I don't have that. I feel like there was this girl on Heroes that had that. Y'all watch Heroes? There was a girl on Heroes that was yeah. deaf. And she played like the cello. But nah, I don't have that. Um, I like envision things like with notes and stuff. Like, like to get things right, I'll think of it as a staircase. And like I have to hit that step. Like, but no, I don't have synesthesia. That would be lit though if I had that. Hi. That was very real. What am I doing? <laughs> hey guys, this is my painting. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is my painting. It's a self-portrait. As you see here, this is my hair, it's green. Um, that's to symbolize the natural essence of it. I have one eye because my vision is focused and in one direction. Um, I don't got no nose. And the background is lilac because that's one of my favorite colors. This is fuchsia. Um, yeah. What's your name? Um, Me.